Hey everybody, it's Ultimate G-Man here once again to do my review of Ajin Chapter 38, man. Man, Ajin is pretty much the best series to come out in 2014. The best manga series. Now, the anime sucks. It is horrible. They freaking just took all the life soul out of it and just drained it out and freaking threw it out there. But Ajin is just a wonderful series, and this chapter is a perfect example of why. First off, we get freaking... Now, Guy K, we get K and Ko going after Sato. They're trying to get Sato, and freaking Sato's, Sato's men are freaking going up the stairs. And you have, what's her name? Izumi. Izumi is one of my favorite female characters, but she is up the stairs waiting for Sato. Sato's coming, Sato's group is coming up the stairs, and Izumi's like, they're like, oh, you look pretty. Are you trying to do some kind of show for us? And she's like, no, nah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go in on you. You ain't you ain't going to get past me. You showed up, pal. Some deal with, like, freaking, uh, what's his name? Oh, yeah, freaking Gandalf from The Hobbit. He's like, you, she's like, you showed up, pal. And then she freaking throws, sends her IBM after after them. They send her their IBM after her. And freaking Izumi, she, like, flips the IBM after it freaking claws through her hand flips it and then shoots one of her his one of um Sato's men and then like they cut they cut and switch and then you have it where Sato is going up against the police force and the police force men actually these guys are competent because last chapter I read last chapter and those police guys were completely incompetent but these guys they know what they're doing they just shot him in the in the leg with a real bullet not with them freaking tranquilizer guns so he, they shot him in the leg with a real bullet and freaking Sato's just like, he's like, oh crap, this, I never noticed what's going on. So what he does is, he goes to the freaking, oh my god, he goes to the, to the pole behind the place where he, you know, like, where he, like, you go down a hallway and there's a corner, right? He put, he grab he grabs the hole, the, he grabs the freaking pole, he chops his hand off, he walks out, they freaking shoot him in the head, they walk out, he... Using his Ajin powers, he freaking pulls himself back to where the pole is behind that corner and freaking jumps out and shoots <laughs> and shoots one of the guy in the neck. Oh my god, the action in Ajin is comparable to me. It's comparable it's not as comparable to Blade of the Immortal, but it's it's up there. It's up there. It's nowhere near Blade of the Immortal, but it's up there. Dang, this Ajin chapter. But that's pretty much what happened in this chapter. It was mostly an action chapter. Very fast-paced, a lot going on. And just, just, we're just waiting. You know, this is going to be insane. This is going to be insane when they run into Sato again. And holy crap. But yeah, Ajin, Ajin. Before I finish this video, I want to give a shout-out to freaking Co-Provider. Co-Provider was the reason why I was able to get my One Piece collection. You know, with his contest on Gemmer. I want to give a thanks to him. And I want to give a thanks to the King of Lightning because of his awesome channel. And because, you know, weak brothers got to support each other, you know. Anyway, that's all I got for today. Awesome video. Peace out.